Okay, a couple quick examples here on the quadrilateral sum theorem. This is the notion that the interior angles of every single four-sided polygon add up to 360 degrees. All right, that's true no matter what you look like. If you're a rectangle, a square, a rhombus, if you're convex, if you're concave, right, that's true of everything. So we're going to run through a couple examples here. The first one is simply asking you to find the missing angle. You need to find angle J. All right, to do that, all we're going to do is simply add up all the other angles. I've got 90 degrees right here. That's what that, of course, what that little box means. I'm going to set up a nice little equation here. I'm going to put, uh, I don't know, I guess a J where angle J is and set that equal to 360. All right, so let's see, I've got uh, 185, 185 plus 71, that's what, uh, 256, I suppose, plus angle J is equal to 360. All right, so we subtract and we get angle J is equal to, oh, I don't know, 104 degrees, the measure of, let me use a capital letter there for J, uh, the measure of angle J is, uh, what did I say, 104 degrees. All right, so that's pretty simple, right? And to, to check that, all you want to do is go back and make sure that all four angles add up to 360. All right, so it's a really good idea. I mean, for this one, it's kind of probably pretty redundant because you really just did that, but you would check to make sure that 71 plus 90 plus uh, 95 plus 104 indeed is 360. Of course it is here. Uh, as we get to the next example, it might be a, a really good idea to use that check strategy here. All right, so here we go. We're looking for, in this case, <clears throat> the, uh, the value of x, which is right there. <coughs> so you write your equation, right? 87, it doesn't matter what angle you start with, plus 93, plus uh, 100, plus 19x plus 4 equals 360. And we just want to combine all the constants together. So I've got 87 and 93. Let's see, that's going to be 180 uh, plus 100 is 280 plus 4 is 284. I hope I didn't mix that up here. Uh, so I got plus 19x equals 360. I want to get rid of, I want to get rid of the 284, so we're going to move that to the other side by doing its inverse operation. Here we get them to cancel, they cancel out. Over here we get 360 minus 284, 360 minus 284 is 76, and finally we are going to uh, divide, divide by 19. So when we divide by 19, they of course cancel. We get 1x equals 4. 1x equals 4. And that's it. That's all we really were asked to do. Like I said earlier, it's a pretty good idea to check your work, especially for something like this where you uh, where you should probably uh, plug that back in. So I'm going to have, all right, let's check 87 plus 93. That's, uh, what did we say? That's 180 plus the 100. That's 280. And we want to substitute the x value in here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 19 times x plus 4. 19 times 4, let's see, that's 40 and 36, that's 76, plus the original 4 that was added already, that's 80. So if I add 80 to this, does that equal 360? Sure it does. All right, so that's a good way to check your work. Number three. All right, this one is all about finding the measure of angle X. All right, that's the task here. In order to do that, we're going to have to first find the value of little x. Notice lowercase x is different than capital x. 
All right, so here we go. It doesn't matter what angle you start with. I'm just going to go around the circle, uh, go around the quadrilateral here. Got a couple different x values here. That's okay. We're just going to write them all down. Set them all equal to 360. Add them together. Set that equal to 360. All right, so here we go. Combine constants. So everything that's a constant, which is this, this, and this, and this. Add those all together first. So we've got 97 plus 1 is 98. 98, let's see. Sometimes it's okay to do off, off on the side. 98, let's see, that's 178. Plus, now we're going to combine, uh, we're going to combine the uh, like terms here. So I've got 49x plus 42x, that is, uh, let's see, it's 80, it's 91x equals 360. All right, leave that there. I'm going to move the 178 to the other side by doing its inverse, which is subtraction. All right, so I go 360 minus 178, and I get 182. And then, of course, I divide. I want to divide by 91, divide by 91. And I get 2. 182 divided by 91 is 2. I'm not going to circle that, really, because it's not really what I'm asked to do. I'm asked to find the measure of angle X, capital X. And that is equal to 42x plus 1, lowercase x plus 1. So all I really need to do here is I want to take that 2 and I need to plug it in right here. All right, so 42 times x plus 1, that's 84, that's 85 degrees. So I think the measure of angle capital X is 85 degrees. And that's what I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to highlight right there. But before I finish, let's check it. So let's go. All right, I'm going to just go around the. I'm going to go around the quadrilateral and just pick off all the actual numbers here. 95 plus two is 97. Plus one is 98. Plus 80 is 178. All right, we already said the angle X is 85, so I'll put that right there. Uh, I'll add that together. Let's see, 263, uh, I think. 178 plus 85 is 263. And then we want to add 49X. 49 times, let's see, little x is 2. So 49 times 2, that's 98. Uh, yeah, that's 98. So let's see, I think I did something wrong here. Uh, oh, I know what I did. I added this number too many times. Ah, uh -huh. okay. So if I added those together, right, I wouldn't get 360, I'd get 361. All right, so I'd, let's go back and I'll, I'll redo that. It'll only take a second. I'm going to erase all the checking that I just did. I made a pretty common mistake. I'm going to do it a little bit better. I'm going to do the check down here and show you a different way. So I'm just going to go 95 plus 2 plus 49x plus 80 plus 42x plus 1. I'm checking to see if that equals 360. I'm just writing, essentially just writing this whole equation again. All right, but instead of solving it for x, we already did that. I want to check to see if that's right. So every time I see a little x, I'm going to put a 2. So let's see, 95 plus 2 plus 49 times 2 plus 80 plus 42 times 2 plus 1. Does that equal 360? All right, so now we just go 97. I'll just kind of combine things here, plus 98 plus 80 plus, let's see, 84 and 1 is 85. I'm checking to see if that's equal to 360. Uh, 97 and 98 is a little less than 200. That's going to be 196 plus 165. Does that equal 360? Nope. 
made another mistake. It's 195. Goodness gracious. That's 195 uh, plus 165. Uh, and I think that works. Yeah, that looks like it works really well. Alright, so that's a check mark. That means that our answer of 85 degrees was correct. And therefore, our answer of 2, x equals 2, was correct. Alright, so hope that helped you, right? The, uh, the whole idea, again, is that <clears throat> the interior angles of every quadrilateral sum to 360.